I built this palette over a year ago. I have used some of the shades to complete other looks, eye looks that I've created in the past. I have taken out some shades from this palette that I built to build another palette to use, but I am yet to actually use this palette that I built as a standalone, the intended use. I have not done that. I am excited about this palette. Why did it take me this long? I don't know. But I do know that I kept intending to use it to do a video, at least the intro video, and just didn't get around to it. But I have kept this palette, returned shades to it after I used the shades doing other looks because I truly like how this palette turned out. Looking at this palette, each time I open it and I'm like, oh, I haven't done a video on this palette. Just looking at it makes me happy. This palette excites me. But I guess not enough to use it for a year. <laughs> but I have kept it the way it is. And I am happy to now show you what it looks like. And create looks and attach it to this video so you can see what they look like. This is the palette, 12 pen palette. This Deep in the Vibes was inspired by two palettes. One that I missed out on and one that at the time I saw the release I was captivated, but not enough to purchase the palette. Looking at this color story, can you guess which two palettes? One is mid-range, mainstream brand, and one is an independent brand, indie smaller brand. Can you guess? The two palettes that inspired this BYOP, Deep in the Vibes, were the Odin's Eye Solomon palette, the original one, and the ABH Nouveau palette. As you can see, this lavender lilac shade is a standout. I looked at both palettes, chose shades that I'm drawn to and looked into my beauty capsule to see what do I want, what's similar, and even if I don't like an exact shade, what would I have preferred in its place? So this is a blend of those two palettes. I will hold it here. <laughs> and hopefully put pictures of the other two palettes on the side so you can see similarities and differences. This is a standalone palette for me. The shimmer of these two, if that's what I want. They all, I envision them playing well together in looks. And I'm excited to layer shades. I will do live swatches, but I'll also insert a prettier, proper Instagram um, swatch that I did, a photo of this palette, and also the swatches. But I will do a live swatch so you can see what it looks like while I'm swatching it and how pigmented some are and some are not. The brands I have are Viseat, Luxe, Sydney Grace, JD Glow, Natasha Denona, 
Little Cosmetics, Cleona Cosmetics, and Pretties for Your Face. Sydney Grace Mellow Yellow Viseat Mustard It blends into my <laughs> skin Cleona Bloodline Pretties for your face Scatty Luxy Beauty for the Gram, JD Glow Unexpected, Lethal Cosmetics Sequence, Sydney Grace Pardoned Completely, Viseat Chocolate, Sydney Grace Slade. Tasha Denona Uncovered, and this is from the Zendo palette, the mini Zendo, the five pan. Sydney Grace, Deanna, that is the color story. Really enjoying my base today, I did a glowy bronzy skin. For my brows, I used the Danessa Merrick's Groundworks palette, the pomade shade, the Bark pomade shade, Ami Calais brow gel, used the Phytosurgeon's Verdant Force Field as my moisturizer. For my bronzer today, this is the second time I'm using this. I purchased it from Ulta during a sale. The Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer Bronzer. This one is in shade 06, Sun Spell. I purchased this because of Andrea Renee. I saw one of her videos where she was using it, and I love how it applied on her skin, so I decided I'm gonna try it. I love the applicator. Applied some dots on my skin, then blended it out. I used the Danessa Myricks for Laura Puff to blend it out and I love how it looks and how it wears. This is my second time using it. And then on top of it, I'm using the VB Beauty Matte Bronzing Brick in shade 04. For my base, I applied the Kira Wise Foundation, Cream Foundation in Delicate. It slides open like this. I haven't used this in a long time, so. After the Verdant Force Field, I applied it, then did the bronzer, the Laura Mercier bronzer, then did the powder bronzer. I thought about applying blush, but once I kept, I started with the bronzer, enjoying what, what's going on with the look, I decided I'm just going to use the bronzer as blush and applied it also on my nose and across my face where the blushes will normally be applied. For my lips, I'm using Claydol's Untamed Glow Glossy Lip Glaze in Hot Pursuit. Sprayed my skin with the Charlotte Tilbury Setting Spray. For my highlight, use the Suku Melting Powder Highlight in 101. This is what it looks like. I'm going to prime my lids with the Hindash Color Fluid in Carve. And as always, I will, at the end of this video, attach this look that I'm creating, this eye look, and any other eye look that I wear using this beautiful, beautiful, in my opinion, Duping the Vibes palette. Let me know what you think about this palette, the color story, and the palettes that I drew inspiration from to build it.
tools I used for this whole look, including my base. Danessa Myrick's Velour Puff. <laughs> it comes in a duo, and this is the larger of the two. Final Surgeon Sky Buff, ABH Brow Brush, Ami Calais the Color Blend Brush, Unit 202, Davina D102. That is it for this look. I will include still photos of this look and other eye looks that I create using this BYOP Duping the Vibes palette that I'm excited to finally start using and playing with. This is pretty. I like this. I'm enjoying the whole look. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And while you're here, if you have not subscribed, I would love for you to consider subscribing. Thank you for being here and I'll see you in my next video.